Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I um, decided that I'm going to film my lotion collection, except I know that sounds really weird and like, why do I want to see your lotions? But this is because these are lotions you need if you have sensitive skin. So this is kind of specifically for those of you out there who, like myself, get reactions to things if you put them on, if you know you're not if you're not familiar with it, or if it, you know your skin just reacts to things. I have extremely sensitive skin. My face and my body, except my face is like sensitive to different things in my body. It's very strange. I do have some remedies and some really awesome things that I've collected over the past few years that I've like you know repurchased and that I've found that really do work for me. Some of them are more medication slash treatment oriented and some of them are just kind of like lotions that you can find that are calming and soothing and they don't you know cause any problems on my skin personally so jumping right in um don't mind my closet here um i would like to eventually get a kind of like thing to put so you can like not see it but i can try to like i think that's better so my piano's over there <laughs> So, sorry about this setup. I'm trying to figure out a space where I can kind of just like have nothing in my life. But, jumping right in. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is, um, I guess, the first thing I would like to talk about is a hand cream. Um, because I definitely like to keep hand creams in my handbag or on my vanity or just in my room so I can reach for it. Um, it, especially in the winter. The winter is usually when I need it the most, especially because I grew up with eczema. If you grew up, or if you have it now, with eczema, thank goodness I don't have it really anymore. My skin does get extremely dry and sometimes patchy, whether it's from washing my hands too much, which I worked in a salon for a long time and when I would shampoo too often, my hands would be very, very, very dry. So I was on the lookout for a really good hand cream and I just got lucky Usually I cannot use Bath & Body Works um, lotions on my body. I had bought four, they were in a haul video that I put up like long last time ago. Um, they smell really good, but my skin, sometimes if my skin's in good shape, it'll be fine. But other times, you know, it's kind of like a hit or miss. Um, it's just either my skin kind of itches from it or I get a hive or so, it's just not cute. So this is Vermont Sugar Maple. Um, hand cream. I don't know if they will have this. I, do, I think I got this oh, a few months ago. It's, it literally smells like sugar maple. It's delicious. This is really nice. I'll show you kind of what it looks like. It's kind of like a, I guess it's kind of like an off-white kind of color and it blends in really nicely and it kind of just like gives you like kind of like a shimmer and a shine and it feels so, ooh, just like slap myself in the face. And it's like really smooth and you get kind of a shine on your hands from it. And I don't react to this. So if your hands, I mean, usually hands aren't as sensitive unless you have eczema like I did on my hands. I couldn't do anything with them. I had to put ointment on them. Any of that applies to you, definitely check this out. This is kind of more of an ointment. Actually, yes, this is kind of more of an ointment. So this is called Cutamol. It's a dermatologist treatment for severe dry skin. I used this when I had eczema really badly. Um, which, you know, was years ago, but then I also would keep this around like a little jar here and there if I needed it. I would just always keep it in my life. It says it treats, okay, ultra-rich, long-lasting moisturizer for dry, cracked hands and feet, frequently washed hands, that's me, dry, brittle nails, that's me. Actually, no, I'm more just like flaky. It's disgusting. Dry skin associated with psoriasis and more, I mean, like eczema or something. So this one comes out kind of... Thick. It's like really thick to like rub on. I almost don't want to touch it. It's like extremely thick. Um, it's like you can see it's kind of it like doesn't really blend in that well, but that's because it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be like an ointment. If you have psoriasis or eczema or really dry skin or anything like that, this is for you. So moving on is Aquaphor. So this is one of my favorite things in the entire world. I use this on everything. If I have like a little rash forming from something, a hive, whatever, I throw this on. It's amazing. This is very ointmenty. It's sticky. It's whatever. But it's dermatologist recommended. Dry, cracked, irritated skin. And it's amazing. And you literally can get this at Target or CVS. Not that expensive. One more type of treatment thing that I have found that really works for my skin, especially if I'm having some kind of a hive or a breakout of rash or something like that, um, or if my skin just really needs some kind of cooling effect happening, tea tree gel. You can also use aloe, which I didn't include here because it's 
outside. I just, this is within my room. Um, tea tree gel really helps with nature's therapeutic relief with arnica and echinacea. And it really just kind of, it has a really nice smell, which kind of just calms you down. It's good for acne tea tree, which they put, I think um, there's some brands that use tea tree. Um, but I like, as you can see, it's almost gone. But I use this on my hands, on my stomach, on my chest, legs, anything, anywhere that there's a problem area that's just really sensitive and needs some help, I use this. So now moving into lotions. Um, this one is more for show than anything else, but I do love it and it smells nice and I don't have a reaction to it. And it's the Viva La Juicy um, lotion. It smells just like the perfume, which is my favorite perfume in the entire world. And even if this did give me a problem, I'd still probably use it. But I love it and I don't ever get a reaction from it, which is interesting and weird to me because it's very perfumey, so how do I not have a reaction to it? But I don't know. But let me not jinx it. It's really good. You can get it probably, I think I got this as a gift set with the um, perfume, but you can probably just find this at like Macy's or something or online. So it smells just like it. It's also creamy. It's not pink. It's white. <laughs> it's like, I was expecting it to be pink. I was really really excited, but love it. Don't have a problem with it. So this is the um, Earthly Body Natural Body Care Hemp Seed Hand and Body Lotion. And I get it in lavender because I love lavender and it's so soothing, but they have so many different other scents. But this one is phenomenal. This, for some reason, my body just works in completely like in sync with this stuff. Like it's probably the best lotion I've ever used in my entire life. And I have such sensitive skin that it took me years to find something. And when I finally found it, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether I should like smile or cry. Um, so I did both. And I've been ordering it ever since and now they have like new packaging and stuff since I ordered it from it last and I finally got a full size I used to get like mini ones of all different scents but I now know which scent I love and which one kind of calms me and I just love it it goes on so I'll, I'll show you really fast it's like kind of liquidy but it just goes on so comfortably and like it doesn't leave any residue it doesn't leave anything it just kind of makes you a little shiny not shimmery just shiny and clean looking it's my favorite and then you just smell like lavender and you just want to cuddle up and like read a book. It's like my favorite. So this is my routine for after I get out of the shower. I just reach for this or the next one I'm going to show you and just do my legs, my whole body. Sometimes if I just shave my legs, I will usually reach for this, but sometimes I want to switch it up. I will reach for the next one, which is Zoom Body Shea Butter and Meadow Foam Seed Oil Body Lotion. This one is also in lavender. This one is $8.24, and this one was on sale, I believe, at Mrs. Green. So this one also smells like lavender. I think I'll have a problem. Um, it's amazing. This has dandelion, red clover, shea butter, all that kind of stuff. This one, I don't know where else I can put it, but this one's a little shimmery. I'll show you my. So this one goes on and gives you a nice shimmer. And it's so nice, you can tell like you're like glistening after you put it on. So usually I'll put, if I shave, this one I like for my legs. Um, the other one I use for my whole body, but if I'm just doing my legs and I want to kind of just give that extra moisture to it, I use this one, especially if I'm wearing like shorts or something. I just go for the one that gives me a shine. So these two are my favorites for all over, especially for when I shave or have any kind of reaction. And the last two are just good, just good lotions. So they're just like good middle ground. If you don't have any other stuff, they're just good to have. The first one is Alate. Um, Scottish Fine Soaps Company and I have it in body milk and this is a phenomenal lotion. I got this at TJ Maxx. It was $5.99 which is obviously, if you look at the presentation, this is not $5.99. I love TJ Maxx. Um, it smells like fresh like milk and like fresh baby powder if you can imagine. It's like really refreshing. Like when I wear this people are like, what are you wearing? That smells so nice. I'm like, it's my lotion. Like that's how strong it is and it's very milky. You can see I don't have to put it on but it's really great. I used to use this strictly for my legs because it helped after I shaved. It doesn't have any kind of finish. It just smells amazing and it's calming. So that's another one. It's more of a milky formula. And the last one is a little thicker. This one's by Coors, Coors, whatever. Um, I don't know how to say it. Body Butter in Apple Blossom. And this you could probably get at Sephora. I don't remember where I got this from. I think my mom gave it to me as a gift, but I love it. Um, it's also, it's kind of thick. So this one I do have an issue with if I put it on my legs sometimes because it takes a really long time to kind of get it all in there. Otherwise you'll have like white streaks so it really has, it takes a while to like rub in which I guess is good because it's putting all the moisture in but it's a pain in the ass sometimes. But I love it for my hands, I love it for my arms because you kind of just go around your elbows, your chest a little bit, 
it's really nice for some areas that are hard to get into to moisturize because it really gets in there. So I definitely like this one. It does not give me any problems. Um, and it's from Athens. I don't know. I love it. I really do. They have a bunch of different scents. And that's my lotion collection. So while I said some of them are lotions that are just plain old in between lotions that don't give me a problem, other ones are more on the side of like ointments um, and creams and medication or just things that are really good for sensitive skin. Like the hemp cream, hemp is amazing for sensitive skin unless you have an allergy to it. Um, I just find that those are my favorites that are not medicated. I usually reach for the medicated ones or the ones that are just geared towards if you really are having a, an issue. I reach for those if I'm really not able to solve it with a lotion. So that's it for the video. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for bearing with me through all of that. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of little info thing about different types of lotions and ointments, I guess, for sensitive skin. Yes, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I will make sure to list everything down below if you have any questions or anything regarding these lotions or where you can get them or anything like that or if you have any uh, suggestions for me, queen of sensitive skin, please, I would love that. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs this up if you really liked it and please subscribe. I would love you part of my family. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.